Hello and welcome to One North Maine, BCA's magazine show. I'm your host, Damon Convey, and on this week's episode, we're going to take a look at the Summer of Work and Learning program. Brockton Public Schools get some interns together for a six-week program in which they go around the city and do various projects. And at the end, we have our culmination of it with a bunch of presentations of what the kids have done. Lots of amazing work happening in the city. Let's check out what's going on. started off as an internship program for high school students, paid an internship program for the high school students. Uh, typically they work Monday through Thursdays and then on Fridays they usually come back to us at the high school and they work on skills for professionalism, they work on resumes, cover letters, things that will help them get a jump start in the workforce. And a couple years ago we started introducing the community service component to the program and it's been a huge success. Um, it, it's just a way to remind the kids that you know we're getting so much from the community, this is the opportunity for us to say thank you and to give a little bit back. Today is first day. This is orientation and this is the day where kids come in, they meet their team leaders for the first time, uh, they get the job assignments, they finish up any paperwork that they need to have completed and then we get them on their way for July 5th. This is our orientation, this is our kind of our team building event. So we always have the one little fun activity in the beginning to kind of get the team to work together. Our whole program is all about teamwork. Tucked into the south side of Brockton is the Davis School. Recently, the SWL students went over there, and what I'm standing on right now is a tennis court. It was overgrown at the Davis School. Really nothing you could do with it. Kids might trip and hurt themselves. What did the SWL students do? Transformed it completely. They got a brand new court over there. Kids will be able to play on it. No more safety issues. Let's see what the SWL project did over at the Davis. We recognize how hard you, you're working at this. You know, when we look at the before shots and the fact that you can even see this place. Uh, and, and now you look at it after a couple of weeks, I mean, the transformation is, is pretty incredible, right? Um, so we're here today, and uh, Mr. Thomas and Mr. Gormley are here today. Just take a look at everything and just say a quick thank you to you guys. So I'll turn it over to you. About oh, a month ago, I called Mr. Thomas and told him that a friend of mine, uh, Tony Rodriguez, whose kids go to this school and lives around the corner, had an idea that he wanted to look at this and maybe do a community project here. And, um, Next thing I know, you guys are here a month later cleaning it out and with the help of the city. So um, I'm very, very pleased to see this, and you guys have done a great job. Go! Yep, it's coming. It's coming. We really appreciate your hard work. This is not easy work. Um, again, if you see the before photos, um, this place you couldn't even see. So you did a fantastic job. Um, this is a school with over a thousand kids. That It's the second largest school in Brockton other than Brockton High. Um, so they're gonna get a lot of use out of this and what we can do with this now going forward and looking to raise some money to to redo the surface and uh, we could, you know, this the possibilities for this area um, are endless. And not only for the, the over a thousand kids that go to the Raymond's, um, the uh, Davis School, it's the um, what it does for the community. Uh, the, uh, several neighbors, they, they use the uh, playground here, now they can use this open space, and this, this school is really a community school, and what you, what you, you have done for the, the students at this school, the staff, but also for the community that live in this, in this neighborhood is just great. Thank you. 
That is a beautiful garden right there, and the SWL students went over to the Raymond School on the north side of town and did a little project where they built something very similar to this. The Raymond is a beautiful school inside, and now it is a beautiful school on the outside. Let's see what the kids did. Raymond was selected by BPS uh, as a site to work on for curb appeal. Uh, so that's what we're doing today. We're focusing on the main entrance so when people drive up, uh, they see a transformation, they see uh, a, a nice well landscaped school for the kids and for the parents. Like I did teaching my first year and then teaching my second year and then now I'm on the mural team and it's pretty cool to come back like Fridays you just help out Brockton and you know kind of helping out giving back to what they've given us. We're pulling out weeds and we're replacing it and putting in flowers to make it look in a pair better you know. And that's what we're doing. that are here on the corner, you want to probably put them about here because they're going to need space to grow right. and they will get pretty big eventually. Building a trench around the tree um, so that we can mulch it and put some flowers and it's more pleasing to the eye. Like if there's like a little sprig of this one, take a little piece of it. And we're gonna make a kind of like a fifth plant. We just dug up some grass and we're gonna mulch and then plant some plant some plants. This is my second summer uh, in doing summer work and learning, and uh, I love it. Uh, I uh, 
didn't do it last summer because uh, the program was, was cut back a little bit, but we're very happy to see it growing again, and uh, I hope to be a part of it, uh, you know, going forward. <laughs> It's teachers and students working work together on the same task. And I think that's why we get so many teachers each year uh, that want to do our program because it's so different. Um, they pretty much each team leader um, has a group of students and they all and they all have their own goals. And the job of the team leader is pretty much almost to oh, almost just to sit back and kind of let the students kind of do what they have to do because um, they already know uh, their own goals. And so um, once that happens, the, the teacher is just there as more of a support, you know, maybe do it this way, maybe learn some new things. But um, it's great, and I think that's the best, I like one of the best parts of this program. This is Brockton High School, where the Summer Work and Learning Program recently held its big conference. Lots of guest speakers preaching many messages to the participants in this program. They've done a lot of stuff this summer. Let's see some of the things they've been working on. I love Summer Work and Learning. I have five uh, children. My sons are 31, 28, and 24. Uh, my daughters, uh, twin daughters, are 20 years old. All five of my uh, children attended Brockton High, and all five were members of Summer Work and Learning. I, I taught in Summer Work and Learning, and they held various jobs. They were on different teams, environmental team. Um, uh, one worked in the, the civic, uh, uh, city, civic team, worked at City Hall. So uh, I'm very much invested in this program. Leadership is making choices and decisions. So when you go to college or when you go beyond, remember that you are leaders. So I feel like getting good grades and having enough sleep and energy is more important than you know going out and like hanging out with friends. You want to be able to find some time in a real estate office to know what they do or with a de an interior design. So then you can find out, all right, what are the skills that are needed? So yes, math and skills would be great, but they may tell you they may have some other skills. For architect, the same thing, right? If there's an opportunity to find an architect business, and there is a couple within Brockton, to go and spend a day or a week or a weekend, or even if it's an hour or two, that brings value to knowing whether you want your passion or not. Why do you think I said don't cross your arms? What does that say? You look angry. Excellent, excellent. It makes you look like you're angry. And what else does it make you look like? You don't care. Like you don't care, exactly. It also says, don't come close. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not approachable. Right? Right, everybody has a role in this world. As you get through these next couple programs, these next couple weeks of the programs, think about those things, about what your passion is. Eamon, this is a fantastic event. The Summer Blast does it yet again. We have about 200 kids here. The community service piece to this program is amazing. The Summer of Work and Learning students are doing a fantastic job. And the kids and an old man are having a good time. This is a chance to help out the community a lot, you know, gives us opportunities to, you know, make some money, learn new things, learn a lot 
new business experience, etc. Overall, teaching you to be a leader is just, they give you a lot of responsibility, they put a lot of trust into your hands, see how you handle situations. They give us leaders, but overall the leaders just supervise us. We, we pretty much figure things out on our own. Just gives us a chance to, you know, experience life early pretty much. Hi, my name is Murray Lambert, and this is the Summer Work and Learning Gardening Team. Basically, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be demonstrating to kids how to plant a plant. We have soil, water, and we have a couple seeds, and we're basically just going to show them how to plant a plant, you know? The Tropical Obstacle Course is a combination of a whole bunch of different events. First we start with the hula hoop we have over here, and then we work our way over to our limbo event. After our limbo event, we stop at a quick pop quiz where the kids are asked the question and once they get it right, they move on, working our way to our tropical targets. And once you hit the target, you hop on one foot all the way to our finish line where our friend Cody's handing out tickets. So that's the tie-dye shirt that I designed. There's really no method to it. I just had fun with it. That's basically all it is. It was really fun putting this whole course together. It was really awesome. And I love doing this kind of stuff. I love being creative. And I'm glad that this job gives me the opportunity to do that. This is a um, game of Hungry Hungry Hippo. The community team made it. So um, basically this is a game where um, you gotta collect as much balls as you can. Towards the end, whoever has the most balls wins the game. So it's basically a cool game. We all tried it out and they all like it. Don't mess with the hungriest hippo. Woo! It's just a fun day for the kids. We're gonna ask them a couple math questions and um, toss some bean bags if they get the questions right. Um, each question they write, get right, they get a certain amount of points. And then they grab a ticket for a raffle, grab a sticker. Uh, boys and girls get different stickers. And then they get to pick a prize over there at the contention stand. It's, it's a really good environment here, like everyone's just happy, like there's no bad vibes or bad attitudes or anything. They, um, they make sure we're all comfortable and we're all feeling good and um, we're all happy and we make kids happy too, so it's good for all of us. Summer of Work and Learn in 2016. Woo! We've said over and over again that uh, it's, it's been quite a while since we've had a group of interns that have done such a great job both at the intern sites, uh, on the projects, and then also at the community days. So uh, we're so proud of you guys, and this day is really all about celebrating you and celebrating your accomplishments for the summer. We're going to go on a tour of one of the gardens here that the SWL class has put together, one of the many projects that they have done. It's going to be beautiful, and I'm hoping to get some food out of it too because I am starving. We worked in the um, garden inside the school that has a greenhouse. We also worked on the vegetables outside of the school. Basically what we grew, we grew a bunch of kale, tomatoes, beets, beans, a whole bunch of other vegetables. I'm just going to show you guys what we did today. As you can see, we have cucumbers, we have tomatoes. As you can see the pictures right here, these are exactly what we grew. We grew yellow squash, regular cucumbers right here. Some good looking stuff here. You know I got to sample the fair. Do you 
washers. I didn't have any experience in gardening until I joined this program. This program really helped me a lot in learning how to garden. I learned it takes about three to four weeks for the plants to grow. It gives them a lot of sun. We have to give them a lot of water, especially the tomatoes. The tomatoes takes a really long time to grow. The kids love it. Um, if we didn't have the kids, none of this would be, po be possible, basically. They do all the hard labor. We wouldn't have enough time otherwise, so it wouldn't be possible. Well, I have found one of my friends here at the SWL, and that is Grace Collin. Not only is she a graduate of this wonderful program, but she is soon to be a member of our United States military. We thank you for the service that you will ultimately do. And, and who better to, to walk around the SWL conference with than Grace? Hey, Eamon, I'm ready for the showcase. Let's do it. Yeah. Well, the teaching team was placed at the Baker School this year. Um, we were working with the Power Scholars Academy, which is a new summer program that they've started up this year that's been partnered with um, Bell and the YMCA. What was your ultimate goal to accomplish by the end of the summer? So our main responsibilities, we wanted to help the kids who were sort of in the middle. This program is designed to help students who n need that extra attention during the summer. So some of our responsibilities included walking around the classroom, giving one-on-one -on -one attention when we could, which having five assistants in the classroom helped a lot with. And then we worked our way into lunch and recess. Our responsibilities were to kind of help out there while um, the teachers took their lunch time off. So it was a fun experience. Teaching team, City Hall. We worked in Brockton City Hall, and this is actually my second year doing it. I was in the mayor's office, and I handle a lot of like constituent services, like answering phone calls, helping the citizens of Brockton if they needed help with anything, and filing away papers. It was fun. What was your absolute favorite part of the program? Um, my absolute favorite part of the program was definitely just helping the citizens of Brockton. I really do enjoy helping people, so it helped me learn what I wanted to do in the future a lot. And I'm, I'm very honored to be part of this program again, going on my third year. Double work and learning 2016. Community. At first, <laughs> at first, I didn't know about these guys, but you know, <laughs> then like you know, you get to know them, and then you spend like half your summer with them, and then you're gardening together, and, and it's fun. Summer of work and learning, learning 2016. 2016. They came in, learned the screen printing process, designed all the T-shirts, and here they are. Best T-shirt you saw all summer. Oh, definitely the lobster one. Have you seen the lobster one? It's really great. For quite a few years, we had a stupendous supervisor who worked the program. Her name was Mary Collins. Um, and unfortunately, Mary has passed away from us. Um, and so there are some events that are going on this year that are actually being done in memory of her. When she walked into the school, she always referred to her students as my kids. And when she became her kid, that was it. And, that, and, that, uh, and so once you left your classroom, doesn't matter if you graduated or what you did, she was there for you. She, you know, the three hundred stories of her like co-signing a college, a college loan for a student, or just checking in with somebody, saying, "Hey, hey, how you doing? You know, how are things? Do you need any help?" And that was, and that was very calmness. Session today, I would like to donate five hundred dollars to the Boxer Buddies program in Mary's name. This has been one of the most epic summers I think we've ever gotten. You guys have been amazing, giving us money to help us donate. We love you guys. Thank you so much. She exemplified boxer pride. She truly did, and she focused on that inclusive piece. In her classroom, she was phenomenal. As a student council uh, advisor, she wanted everybody's voice to be heard. She was what we hope everyone becomes, a person who sees an issue and instead of complaining about it, working with others to find a solution. You've all done so much work for this community, whether it be your everyday job, you know, those of you that were doing the mural, you made a school beautiful. Those of you working at various gardens, you beautified the city. Those of you that were working with our special ed population at the high school as mentors, 
huge. Those of you that were helping tutor students in summer school or students that have English as a second language, those are all amazing skills. Good luck today. Have a blast. Don't just go out and clean. Have fun together. Your teams. Enjoy each other. All right? So, what up, summer work and learning? We know how important it is uh, for you guys to get some real work experience uh, in addition to making some money, but you can only learn so much about working at a job sitting in a classroom. You have to actually show up for work to figure out what it's, it's really all about. The young people that we've had working in City Hall have been outstanding again this year. Um, I love the community service aspect of this program. I had a chance to be at the uh, the Raymond School the day that you did the project there and I, I had a chance to go over and see the work that was done at the Davis and uh, those are both great projects uh, they should be very proud of so I think this program is just a really unique combination of um, instruction, job readiness, job training and community service all wrapped up into a few weeks in the summer that really uh, helps you to prepare you to be successful in the future. This year, we'd like to congratulate Heidi Rivera as our Lily Wilson Award recipient. Four years of Shane Foreman. Back in 1994, I worked in the district and remember the summer of work and learning actually coming on board. And it was kind of a novel idea at the time to have kids in the summer working alongside teachers, community members, businesses, to really showcase not only your skills that I continue to be proud of each and every day, but to show you what it means to be in the workforce, what it means to fill out a resume, what it means to be to work on time and do all of those kind of adult things. And at the same time, guys, having fun. And I did summer work and learning for two years. Um, I was actually on the business team, which was pretty exciting. Um, so I worked as an administration assistant in the SWILL office. So that was really important for me because I learned a lot of business acumen. So I learned how to use Excel, how to send a proper email, how to address people properly, and all, the, all those things that I have to use in my job today. I say thank you uh, for giving me a new perspective on not only is it us adults um, that help to make this community great, uh, but it's you. You made this community great, and you will continue to make this community great, and you will be the positive stories that we make sure get on cable and in the paper so that we can really shine as Brockton citizens and as Brockton kids who count. I remember coming in my first year. I was so excited because I finally had a job and like everyone here allows you to save up, help out your parents once in a while and to even spoil yourself because you know, once in a while you kind of got to buy your favorite pair of shoes or kind of do something for yourself. And one thing that I really love about this program is that not only do we get a job, but you also get to serve back and give back to what your community has done so much for you. I mean, we live in a place that has so much history and a lot of you guys know that we don't get the good publicity that we deserve. So when you have a program like the Summer of Work and Learning that's willing to put its time and its work and wants to give back to a community that has so much history and has done so much for us, it's kind of an amazing thing to do. One thing I am gonna ask all of you to do, one final thing, is you go back into the community. Talk about this program, please. Tell people, tell businesses why it's so important. And I'm asking that for a specific reason. The state has already informed us that there will no longer be funding for this program. So our efforts are going to be to embrace the community, ask for community support, and have this program continue. We've done it for 22 years. We're not going to let it go.
Grace Collin, and everybody at One North Main, I'm Eamon Convey.